It is Thursday. Nice, cool Thursday. One day left in this week, and I am off for a week. Thank you, Lord. Christmas is coming fast. I guess it's time to start Christmas shopping. <laughs> Tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday, I've got to get it all done. So, uh, yeah. How's Christmas shopping coming? Um, yeah, behind as usual. I try not to be the guy Christmas Eve night, but once or twice I've been that guy. But um, yeah, lots of great sales this late in the game. So uh, it's not the worst thing to do. We just got to carve out some time to get out there and find some stuff. So today I'm probably going to make the list and ask the kiddos to been hitting them up for a list of things to get. So I got some some ideas. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I need coffee. I need coffee and much of it. So, what's going on in the wonderful world of uh, short films? Seems the uh, aftermath of the One Minute Film Fest is better than last year. A little more, uh, a little well, a little better received than last year. Last year, everyone's like, come on, you pick one guy, you know? And it's just like, now it's like, five categories and I really can't disagree with what they were saying it's a uh, it's good best director best writer best cinematographer and best acting I think uh, excuse me uh oh there you go guy riding on the service road there you go welcome to New Orleans and uh yeah so uh I don't know what to do this week. I'm, I'm off for a whole week. So I'll obviously get uh, Christmas stuff together. But might squeeze in a little edit time, work on Dragonfly a bit more, and uh, knocking that one out one little bite at a time. And I'm dying to get to the effects. I like effect editing much better than just regular editing. Regular editing gets tedious. It's just, I don't know. Not my thing. I don't enjoy editing. I don't know what part of I enjoy the most. Editing, shooting, directing, writing. I don't know. It's strange. If I had to categorize it, I guess, I guess. Once the flow is on, writing is pretty enjoyable. But directing's fun. Directing is fun. It's seldom that I actually get to just sit back in my little fancy director's chair and direct. It's usually because I'm running around doing the lighting, the camera, the audio, and everything else, and all the technical craziness that goes behind it, that goes with it all when you're the one-man band. But even at work, when I direct like TV commercials and stuff, I'm still hustling and wrangling and moving things around and propping and, you know, helping set up the camera, move lights around, because we're in a rush. We're always in a rush, always under, under the wire, you know, under the gun. We got to... Knock it out quick, woo. We gotta, we gotta get in and out, and if we don't, we miss lunch, and then we go to the next shoot. So the incentive is, if you wanna eat, let's hustle. <laughs> There's always something else to do. We usually split the day in half, and well, used to, I don't do that anymore now that I'm a show producer. <clears throat> oh, we used to cut the day in half and do two commercials a day, for the most part. I mean, it wasn't like every day, but uh, for a while, I mean, it's, it's like that sometimes. Some, some weeks, it's every day two a day, which is rare. It's more like three commercials, maybe four a week. And uh, these are little mom and pop 30 second commercials, you know, bread and butter spots, some 15 second spots. You know, every couple of weeks we do a fancy one, 40,000, $50,000 budget kind of stuff, you know, they're, they're a lot nicer, but that's with air buys. Okay, to make a $60,000 commercial would be fantastic. That's including their air. So we get about, three or five thousand production bucks to actually make the commercial i mean we, we don't i don't get the money but um our department does you know so it's like it, it, it goes to our department's budget which is kind of odd the way they split it up it's like our production department has to make their own budget which now we're in sales but anyway for the last 50 years we had to make our own budget okay in production we didn't get we didn't we couldn't you couldn't count the millions of dollars we generated by air <laughs> i don't understand that we you know we'd spend we'd get i don't know half a million a million dollars in production budget and then we'd make 
I don't even know how many millions in air, air buy. You know, it's like, how do we not get credited that? But anyway, long story short, we're all one big, happy sales family now. So it's all in the same pot. All get thrown in the same pot. So whatever, it's all good. Just strange with bean counters categorized stuff, you know. It is what it is. That's why I'm not a manager or a businessman. <clears throat> so anyway, it's all going good. Just trying to decide what to do this week. What to do. So if the weather's like this, it'll be nice to get to go outside and do stuff. I don't dig cold, clammy, wet, rainy weather. I just stay inside and hibernate until it's better. So, uh, yeah. But back on the categorization. I guess I'd like a categorization. I don't know. I need coffee. Um... Yeah, I guess I'd do, uh, for writing, uh, directing, if I have to do all the stages, all the stages of grief, <laughs> it's fun. Uh, I guess directing, then camera, editing, then audio, I guess. Sweetening's fun. Sweetening's actually up there on the list. Sweetening is fun. Um, that's adding a little life to it. You know, it's like one dragging a box across the table and crickets chirping outside and room ambient, music in the other room. That, that's all fun. That layers reality. And man, the more I listen to sound, sound is like, it's got to be 75-25. I mean, 75% of the submersion in the, you know, the... You know, the suspension of disbelief is in the sound. I mean, sound is amazing. I mean, visually just enhances it. You know, it's like, but sound, I think, is more important than visuals. I mean, you turn off the sound, a movie looks stupid. Look at any Star Wars scene without the sound on. It looks stupid. You know? Turn the sound on, you close your eyes, you can just see the pictures. You know? But no, do it the other way around. It looks like poop. So it's just amazing how important the sound is, so... Anyway, this is what a coffee-free vlog sounds like when I have no coffee in me and I just woke up. <sighs> and I'm just coming back from Baton Rouge, so I didn't get much sleep. Anyway, yeah, that's it. I don't know what I'll do this weekend. Never know. Might try something a little different. Might do some more stop motion. I was into that for a minute. And I never got good at it, just tinkered with it. Started building a little set. Started getting 3D sculpted characters. I did a, a 3D head of my little girl. They, they, we were at Disney. They did a caricature of her head, and I and I and I used um, a Sculptress free download 3D software. And that's really cool. And I did a 3D version of her head, and I had it 3D printed, and I was going to put it on a little armature body, and it was really cool, fun stuff. And uh, I don't know. I lose interest fast. That's the tough part. Staying interested, how do you do it, you know? Uh, anyway, y'all have a good one, and I need coffee. <laughs>